Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, this is a little bit blurry at the moment. If you're wondering why she has a lot of stuff on her face, she currently has chicken pox. Hey. So I can't really put her down. Um, and the poor thing, she's just only just turned one and she's got chicken pox. So. Having a great time. Anyway, we're going to get straight into this grocery shop. It's not as soon as I talk. Okay, hubby is going to take over so I can get this done. But I've done this grocery haul. It's not a huge grocery haul, but basically this is going to do us for the week, except for uh, kids' snacks. I already have a whole bunch, but some of this will be going in the kids' lunches. But yeah, anyway, we'll get straight into it and I'll let you know along the way. All right, so for today, we did get some more bread. We got full cream milk. We got a little bag of spinach here. We got some watermelon. We got these baby potatoes because we just love doing these up with some butter and bacon and cheese. Then we have some ham and pepperoni here for some pizzas that we're going to make. Now I get these chicken sausages because my daughter doesn't like the normal beef ones. So something finally sprung to mind and I was like, well, why don't I make chicken sausages for her when we do beef sausages so i'll probably have the chicken sausages with her to um, avoid having the actual sausage because it's not as healthy um and then which i haven't even seen the healthy rating on here let's be honest if that's gonna focus for you you can look with me but i mean i don't know it'll be right anyway we have some chicken breast in here we got some cream cheese because i do a wrap with some cream cheese spread on top spinach and tuna i cook the tuna up i cook the spinach and i heat up the wrap and it's absolutely delicious you can add so many other things to it but i just love that very basic one then these are my absolute go-to favorite yogurts oh my goodness so addictive made with greek yogurt and they are so, so much better for you than a lot of other yogurts out there. And it's got 15 grams of protein. But I got the banana, I got two banana flavors and then I got two of the salted caramel flavor. Absolutely delicious. Highly recommend trying these. I hate Greek yogurt. So for all those that hate Greek yogurt, yeah, I'm with you. I do not like Greek yogurt, but these are so, so good. Then over here, I have like none of us, I've tried salmon once. It's not that I hated it, it was just, I don't know why in my head I just didn't want to eat it but I really really want our whole family to try salmon and someone recommended their mustard and dill one to me so let's just try and spread that sauce out on it hey but we're gonna try these mustard and dill salmon and we're gonna see if we like it and we're gonna pair that with the baby potatoes and one of these salad probably this one because I'm really looking forward to this mustard um, I think it's, I'm hoping it's the mustard that um, was given to me or someone brought to my birthday. I don't know, but fingers crossed because it's so delicious. Um, and then I also got a beetroot and feta salad as well. So I want to eat more salads, but I just hate making it all the time. So now I'm just going to go straight to get these little kits that are already made up. Maybe I'll add an extra couple of things into it, but at least the base of the salad is made and then I can do what I want with it after. And since I have been doing this, it has made me eat so much more salad. So I'm so glad and grateful they make these kind of things there. But anyway, straight on to, we got some bacon. So the bacon go with those baby potatoes. Now, <laughs> I think I underestimated how many beans I really wanted. <laughs> that's a lot of beans so the kids are going to get some of these in their lunches and we're going to saute some beans with some garlic and butter um but yet yeah, i'm going to try and use it up as many of these as possible hopefully i can get through them by the end of the week we got blueberries and raspberries because we uh ran out and oh and i think we have a couple left of raspberries and then these so these dough balls i have never ever ever seen these dough balls when i see people in the uk america you know such and such overseas they have like this tube of a dough they can just unravel and then roll out straight away i have not found that anywhere here and i even went through costco once and i couldn't even find it but i found these dough balls it's like cold they're meant to go in the fridge um 
And I thought I'll just give these day balls a go and fingers crossed they're good because I got two. We're all gonna try it, one for the kids, one for us. And we'll see how we go. But I'm really, really excited for these. We'll see if they actually taste good as well. But over here, I um, accidentally skipped. So we already opened this and ate this because I completely forgot to do this haul. So I quickly grabbed everything back out of the fridge, but the kids already gotten into this. But this is um, just your, your chicken roll. We always get heaps of this because the kids love it on their sandwiches and just eat because they can. And as I said, we had already <laughs> unpacked pretty much most of this. Um, but this is two packs of the odd bunch of apples. Thankfully, they're red because that is what the kids like or prefer. They don't really like the green ones. And I did have 10 bananas, but we've already eaten a couple. But they, oh, bananas are a huge hit in this house. And then we've just got these, the cheap version of those like chicken shapes for, for just to have pretty much, they'll go, probably go on the kids' lunches. And then just to be a little bit more healthier, I have gotten avocado oil for when I make my lunch through the day. So I'm really, really excited to use this and to see what it tastes like because I have just bought an air fryer and I've seen so many people use avocado oil on their recipes. So I'm probably going to use those for reference, all the TikTok <laughs> uh, recipes and things I've seen and then just try out a few recipes um, in the air fryer. But basically I'm not going to be using my oven anymore. Air fryer is the way to go. I cooked something today and I was so extremely happy with how quick it was, but yeah, this is my grocery haul anyway for today. I know it's not big, but I'm getting better at eating, getting more healthier things and shopping less, I guess you could say. I do have a pantry full. My extra pantry is full of stuff, so I don't need too many kids snacks. I just need a couple of healthy things to add to their lunches. So yeah, but this is the grocery shop for today. So I hope you liked it. hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.